Hey Pokemon fans, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Whenever you're watching this, we're going to play a, a couple matches with uh, a deck that I'm planning to play in a tournament this weekend. I hope you're having a fantastic day whenever you're watching this. Thanks for the people who checked out the Booster Pack video I uploaded. There was like four people that commented right off the bat, so I was happy with that. Um, nothing crazy here, but this is the deck that I'm playing in the fourth and final limbless qualifier um in case you don't know limbless tcg is a phenomenal website they basically upload uh they upload all the decks and lists from all the major tournaments that happen um but in the event of the uh, uh covid uh the covid virus they started hosting online tournaments they have been ran so smoothly um they're doing their own point system so if you do well enough in in any of them you might be able to play in a event that's happening i think two or three weeks but basically if you make day two i don't i don't even know what the point structure is but it's just another opportunity to play pokemon in a tournament style system while we don't have uh while we can play with people in in person but besides all that this is what has been my main staple and that I've played in the last two qualifiers. I didn't play in the first limitless qualifier, but I am playing baby Blacephalon because of course I am. It's one of the most popular decks. It's amazing. Uh, just some things that are a little bit unique to the list that I've been running. I've been really happy with this list. I don't think I have the other one out there. I was going to try to show kind of like what the typical list looks like. But basically, the list that I was going for, so I've been really, really happy with uh, ba Baby Blacephalon, but the one issue I kept having with it, there would just be times where I would have the most janky opening hands. And what I mean by that is I start with like four fire crystals, um, my energy retrievals, and like just one Blacephalon or something. So I really wanted to maximize this deck to do what it does best. And for that, it was just to draw as many cards as possible. So a lot of people, let's go ahead. I want to look at the um, the tool cards real quick that people use. So a lot of people use things like the cards that I took out from what is like the standard list. I took out Adventure Bag. I took out Beast. Let's see. It was Adventure Bag, Lucky lucky Egg. And then I also took out uh, Beast Bringer. Yeah. Oh, those were the t uh, three cards that I took out. They are the tool cards, and they are fantastic cards that you can have in this deck too. But even this combo is a little tough to pull out and kind of situational. It was really used a lot more when in the last format in Sword and Shield when ADP was just running rampant. Um, basically, that format was whoever got Alter Creation off first or if you were able to make that comeback, knocking out one of their big guys like an ADP to take four prize cards and then hopefully being able to knock out a Dedenne. But I just wasn't finding myself using the tool cards that often so I cut those out I cut out one switch so I was trying to figure out which one would have the least amount of impact from my four of in the deck um, because I really wanted to get four acro bikes in here this is what I was looking for and I absolutely love this addition there's a couple interesting texts that I have in here for a few matchups. Uh, Tapu Fine is for the mirror match. I don't see Blacephalon not being popular if I can play this card. And he, and he has other uses too, because their Ultra Beasts are still around. Um, Nature Wave, if your opponent has any Ultra Beast to play, you can use it for one uh, one colorless energy. So there's a lot of situations I can use that for. Um, I've played against uh, Charizard box matchups when they've had a bench down. Blacephalon or something early on and then he's even useful in matches like that um even psychic psychic decks do run the one psychic uh, baby uh psychic Blacephalon as well so I've been able to get the attack off like that the other tech I have in here is Fione uh he is basically here for any type of mill matchups he that does force my opponent to switch out cards uh, for Blacephalon, any kind of mill matchup is probably the hardest one for me to come out on top on, but this does create a scenario. And the last one is Mew. Uh, this Mew is fantastic for Pikachu Zekrom right now. Pikachu Zekrom is back in the format. So I have him here just for this, and his first attack is good. I have thought about... Um, getting rid of the meme because people have switched from Pikachu Zekrom. They're not really getting off the uh, Tag, Bolt, uh, Tag Bolt GX attack where it attacks your front Pokemon and one on your bench. Um, but I still really like those three guys there for my for my techs in this deck. I found a way to keep everything that I wanted to. So we're going to play a couple matches and hopefully later this week I really want to do a live 
live stream and maybe live stream the last event. It's been so cool that we have the opportunity to play Pokemon online. And I really wanted to live stream the last two events, um, but I didn't really do spectacular either, either one of them. I don't expect to at um, the one on Saturday, but it would be really fun while we have the opportunity to play in Pokemon tournaments from the comfort of our own home um, for me to actually live stream or at least record some of the matches. So let's go ahead and uh, get into a match here. Um, this suggests to me that they might be using some kind of dark type Pokemon. But so let's take a look at my opening hand too. Hmm. Mirror match. So already right off the bat, this could be kind of an unfavorable matchup if um, if they run the uh, Tapu Fine, that could be unfavorable um, because they could attack Blacephalon. This is definitely not who I want to have out to start this match. Um, and we are going to kind of be running down this Acro Bike unless we top deck something really good. It is going to come down to if I would I get off this Acro Bike. So how I've changed approaching this deck is to be as aggressive as possible and to draw as many cards. And that's where I think this deck really does shine. Um, just trying to draw as many cards because you have so many options for taking down some of the big guys. Let's see what they do. They can't play their welder. They can't do much else. Um, let's see what we top deck. That <laughs> I feel so bad. That is liter that literally solves my problem pulling that Tapu Fini. I feel I don't know what the probability. Is. I haven't even had a chance to take a look at my deck yet, but we're gonna take advantage of that. So let's go ahead. We're gonna keep burning through my deck a little bit. So we got that big guy out here. So let's go ahead, grab Blacephalon. Exactly why I said Tapu Fine is such an amazing tech. Let's go ahead, put down that Blacephalon. We're gonna put down Tapu Fine. Um, I already know exactly what I do want to do this turn. So we're gonna do these things. Uh, switch out here. We're gonna one hit knock out this Blacephalon and put things back into safety. Um, we will Acro Bike. We will acro bike. We're going to acro bike one more time. And this is exactly what I like about acro bike. It's just being able to get to that next card. Um, honestly, in this one, in this scenario, I didn't really get anything great. But I will grab I will grab Mew because, again, in this matchup, uh, Mew is another what I really have been looking for in my techs for them to have multiple purposes. So if I put this Mew down right now, I am almost sure that they have a Cramorant in their deck. Um, so let's go ahead. I feel good bench. I feel good benching this guy. He has to have a pretty stellar turn um, uh, to in order to keep getting things off. But this does protect my bench. Uh, we do kind of need some. So that's a really good pull as well. I, I said pull. That's a really good card to take from my prize cards in case he does knock out this Tapu Fine, which he needs to get rid of this turn. Um, but I will be getting an extra three cards there. I might have held on to that Great Catcher now that I'm thinking about him. Um, but basically, I'm going to try to force my opponent as much as possible to put down a GX Pokemon. The one advantage that they have right now, in order for me to keep drawing cards, I'm going to have to either use uh, this Choreo Choreo GX to draw more cards. Blacephalon's a big target target right there. So they're still in the running to, to do some major damage to me. I hope everyone's having a great day when they're watching this. It's such a weird time. Um... I was saying this, uh, I think, in the last in the video I uploaded today. I have no idea how I uploaded a booster pack every single day for an entire year. There's no part in my brain when I look back at that year, and I'm like, how did I do this? I can't even get into a consistent schedule of uploading a video. Probably, I think my record right now is like three days in a row. I uploaded a video every single day in 2018 with homework and work and school. Um, the only reason, actually, this is a good point to bring up. The only reason why I stopped doing it was around this time last year when I was getting ready to start graduate school. So I had to start putting a lot more time in my studies. Um, so that's that's the reason why that all had to happen. But this is, I, I feel sorry, a little sorry. No, I do feel sorry for them because I like my opponent too. I like matches when it comes down to the wire, but there are a couple things I hope to pull off this turn. Um, ideally... Uh, eh, doesn't happen anyway. I was hoping to maybe hit Heat Factory, um, and then I was going to discard things, but I'm actually not crazy about discarding either one of these things for more draw support, but I am going to discard this Blacephalon because I do want to start trying to power up the other guys down here. Um, so that's a thing. Let's go ahead and power this guy up, and then we'll be able to knock out a Jirachi this turn. 
That's cool. What is the name of that talk? Nature Wave. Oh yeah, so I hope to do a live stream before the end of this week. Um, and now they need to... I mean, they'll probably get the knockout this turn. For sure. For sure they have, they have to be able to get the knockout this turn. Tapu Fini is, Tapu Fini is crazy. Is he, does he survive? Um, no, I think he came out in Forbidden Light. So, okay. So that is... That was a, literally a perfect example of why I was just raving about Tapu Fine. I absolutely think I think he's a I think he's a pretty smart one of in most decks right now too. If you have the room for him or can spare an energy or something, um, but yeah. So that's how I win the. <laughs> that is honestly for me how I win the mirror match. Um, I don't have to have Tapu Fine, and it actually, it doesn't. It doesn't guarantee me a match. I should I should I should say that differently. Um, it doesn't guarantee me a match, but it's such a sneaky tech. Um, people don't really expect it. Um, but it's so good. I don't know why people wouldn't want to include it. Uh, wouldn't want to include it. Let's do another one. So exactly what I was saying um, in that last matchup, what I was really happy about this list, uh, just uh, really the biggest changes was getting in the four acro bikes. Um, I was super happy with that addition. Um, it just like too many times I found myself because like the standard list looked like his list was basically um, because we uh, was basically your really normal looking baby Bislephalon list. Mine does not look too different from it other than just a couple of those tweaks that I, I talked about. But those couple tweaks that I did make, I've been really happy about. This is an interesting starting hand already too. Because um, I have both those welders in there. I don't want to lose them. Um, my philosophy has been to just draw as many cards as possible. So I am still tempted to play that the Dene. I think I'm going to wait one turn because uh, I still don't know what they're playing. I have no idea what they're playing, so I am going to take my time just a little bit because um, I think there's some good things that could happen. In this, but no, this is a list I'm going to play with on Saturday. I've been really happy. I got to keep all the te uh, all the text that I wanted to keep in this list, um, and then just kind of go from here. I hope Limitless also does uh, tournaments online. I know I've seen. Other people, ooh, maybe I would have wanted to play Dedenne. Um, I know I've seen other people, um, other like card shops and stuff, post a little bit on a couple of the Pokemon Facebook groups that they do online tournaments too. So I just want to keep playing. Um, I really didn't play Marnie. Uh, I really didn't play too much Pokemon in like the first month of COVID and all that. But I definitely, once I just started getting a little sad, <laughs> sad and missing everything, it's definitely when I started picking things back up more. If we get lucky. Whew, we got lucky that turn. It's not impossible for them to get an alter creation off, depending on what they have in their deck on the first turn. Um, so let's see what we want to do. We could do a couple things here. Um, we're probably going to detonate right off the bat. We're going to put him down. Um, three energy. Let's see. I think I'm just going to go straight into detonate. I know that the den is here. I haven't really taken a look. I gotta get better at that. Like actually looking. So right, I used one of those fiery flints already. Um, because I have to hit a switch. I mean, it'd be great. If we could take a prize card probably this turn. So even hitting a switch, and we can probably knock out. No, but if I no, that that's fine. Because I'm gonna be discarding all this fire energy anyway. So all this thought process is, uh, we can take advantage of this. Let's go ahead. Use use that quick ball to get a Blacephalon out, I guess. Because I'm hoping to hit a switch to be able to retreat out this Jirachi or something. We're gonna we're gonna try to eye down, eye down at least take this prize card so we're ready to set up next turn. Um, heading a welder or something would be perfect too. Welders there. We still want to try to hit a switch or a skateboard. We got a little bit more draw support still. When we hit the switch, exactly what what I was just saying. I'm just going for maximum draw support with this list that I have. Uh, we will knock out this. Are we? How close are we to knocking out? Wait, no. Hold on. 
No, I attach the energy down there. I attach the fire energy down there. So let's not be let's not be too <laughs> too greedy. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep things simple. I'm gonna keep these as options. I probably could like switch out Heat Factory for Ultra Space, but they might have Chaotic Swell anyway, so it probably won't matter. I'll probably lose some. We'll do one one more Acrobike. Um, keep that energy retrieval. Yeah, that could be good. Uh, just about to put those energy back in there though just depends how many fire crystals i've only used one mm, i have more i have more um we'll be hitting him for four 120 oh i had three in there cool so now we're in a position to we're in a very good position right now to knock out this bad boy next turn um but they might marnie they, they probably will Marnie. They're going to Marnie. We'll see a Marnie before the end of this turn. Uh, that's how they're going to get that extra energy there. Are they going in for an attack? Mm -hmm. I was also surprised... They didn't play. Is that Professor? I already I already missed what card they put out. They must have a switch or something. Because they had. Reset stamp. That gets the job done. Okay, well, let's make some magic happen. I want to knock out this guy this turn. Let's start with Acrobike. Um, probably Fire the Flint. Yeah, because we just got all the other energy back in there, so we got plenty of energy. Uh, we need to hit one more energy card to make, or even like an. Interesting, interesting. Because we're just getting a little short right now. Let's see. One, two, three. I gotta figure this out. I need three there. Six. No, I think I think we're there. Yeah. So we're gonna welder just one. Just to play it safe. One here. And then we can get the four from this from this fiery flint. So let's go ahead, put Fiery Flint away. I don't think we'll really need Mew this game. Mew and the Ultra Space to grab those three. This is actually working out really well that we have this Victini here because he'll be ready to charge up um, and attack something like Zacian down there. One, two, three, four, five, six. They did not put on another uh, big charm or anything like that. So we're good. We are going to take the knockout on this big boy for six and two three four five six for 300 and that is what i think makes Placephalon one of the best decks out there even last um i'm saying term because i'm in school last last quarter uh last format that's the word i'm looking for even when he was adp zation i think adp zation its prime was uh was the last of uh, last format um they're just it, it could excel so fast and there just wasn't a lot of ways you could stop it <laughs> once you got off once you got off ultra creation it really came down to in the mirror matches i watched with people who could honestly get out the alter creation first and baby blacephalon i really think was only one of the was really the only the other deck that could keep up to speed um playing against it uh just adp looks a little bit different this format just because of all the other decks out there like dragapult and uh dragapult um the electric toxic dude uh picaron is back came back super super strong with all the new electric support and stuff we have rillaboom we have mill is still running around out there i've absolutely loved the new set the new set definitely didn't mix things up and we really needed it so they're going to give me victory right there. I was in a pretty good spot, whatever they were going to try to throw at me to come back unless they 
unless they would have hit like reset stamp again or something like that but it's probably a one-up in their decks so let's go ahead do match number three see if we can get three matches in a row and that'll be today's video and hopefully tomorrow is going to be a live stream i'm trying to get back into the swing of things i'm going to be doing a so this will actually be a good point too i am sure not many people are going to make it to this point in the video but what i want to do I want to do booster pack openings. I want to keep doing those. So tomorrow we're going to get through five more sword and shield booster packs. I'm going to actually film this one today. And then the last week of every single month, what I decide we're going to, I'm going to start doing, we are going to start going through an elite, uh, elite trainer box. If I do six packs, six days, uh, like the last six days of the month, then we'll get through an entire booster uh, box in one week. Because I, I like, even, even as a person who really enjoys booster pack openings, like, the the novelty of like watching an entire like person watch 36 booster packs it kind of loses its its interest like after the first couple packs unless they like really hit gold so that's why i like keeping the booster pack opening short um or as short as possible uh because after about three four minutes it's interesting but it's not like the most interesting thing in the world <laughs> world um so that's how we're gonna do and i want to start going backwards with booster boxes so we've done rebel clash and sword and shield so i want to go one booster box back each month so the next one will be going to next after this um will be a cosmic eclipse one um and i think that'll be really fun to go back i'd love to make it all the way back eventually to like black and white or something booster boxes that i never opened up but i gotta be ready to spend like 400 dollars if i do that um we're playing against um normal baby blounds this is this is cool um this is not cool because i don't have another pokemon on my bench right now so we're relying on these acro bikes these acro bikes are good i can't believe i'm discarding a welt <sighs> That's, um, no, if this entire match is lost, if I, if I don't hit another Pokemon off of that, we can get back that Welder, but I need, I need another Pokemon on my bench. Was that, was that a good decision? We would have hit Zacian. So this isn't the most optimal starting hand, um, because he can target the Zacian pretty easily. So I'm not crazy about any of this. Uh, ironically enough, this isn't that good of a starting hand. Um, let's go ahead. I'll let them keep knockout Victini or something. No, no, not knockout. Uh, Victini's important late game. He's not important right now. So let's see what happens. We need just more cards in my hand. Intrepid Sword. Um, Zacian, a good one of. I've seen people put two in there, but like, unless he gets prized, then. I mean, it's not the end of the world. He really... Zacian's main use is exactly, like, right then. Like, usually the first couple turns. Because I'm hoping I am attacking after that. There are times... He, he does have his use. Some uses late game. Oh. Not that I would ever text while I'm recording, but I think two of my Pokemon friends will watch the video. Um, today's booster pack opening. It really was a really awesome sword and shield booster box. I was very lucky with the pulls I got. Um, had it been a booster box, I opened up like right when sword and shield. I totally would have got on my money, my money's worth. Um, that box, um, the booster packs that I have been opening, the sword and shield ones, these were from Darium. Um, and traded some cards in two, three months ago. I can't believe that was like two month, two, three months ago now. Just everything's kind of everything's crazy right now. <laughs> Hagendel GX. So this is traditional baby blounds. I this is one deck I wish I would have played when this version of baby blounds with um Poi Paul and Nagandel. This would have been fun to play in its prime. Uh, it's still a pretty good deck, and people have made some really interesting lists with it in expanded. Um, but it really shined in its prime. I'm actually shocked we never got like a Blacephalon GX in a deck. Um, like as a promo card. I think this would have been a really cool card to see as a promo. Um, so we lucked out there that they didn't hit because that was my second turn already because uh, they could have definitely hit, had a lot better second turn there. Uh, let's thin out the deck a little bit. I actually feel pretty comfortable. Let's see if... Oh, look at that. Tapu Fine is prized. So we're going to have to do this the old school way. Um... So that's actually good to take note of. So really, I keep track of my one ofs in the deck. Those are the ones that pop out real quick. Um, I look for that, and I look for Dedene. Um, 
because matches can go south real quick. If I had room to, if I could put one more Pokemon in, in the here, it would definitely be a Dedenne. Uh, that would be a super, super awesome tech to have in here. We can do one more thing with the cards we have here right now. We also can go for a Jirachi. Uh, that's cool. We can do switch around things so we can get a turn with the Jirachi. Draw some more cards with Fiery Flint. Let's go ahead and put this Jirachi down here. This all makes sense in a second. Let's go ahead and pop up that Heat Factory. Let's draw a little bit more. We do hit a Welder, so that's cool. So we are going to go. We're going to play this as aggressively as possible. Um, just need two up front. We got Fiery Flint down there. Uh, and eventually, we'll get hopefully get to that Tapu Fine, uh, which he is prized right now. Actually, we're going to make this as... Um, how am I ignoring that I have Great Catcher? <laughs> how am I ignoring that I have Great Catcher in my hand right now? Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to make this as nasty as possible. So we have to discard... We have to discard a decent amount of cards in our hand for this to work. So let's start with Fiery Flint. We have one Jirachi out in play already, so I really don't need another one. Let's go ahead and discard these two guys. We'll grab uh, grab these perfect and then we'll great catcher nagandel is the one who i think he could pose the most problems um with his g is he the one no i can slow him down a little bit so i think i am gonna go actually whichever one doesn't require because that requires an extra energy so i don't want to spend it i don't want to cost that <laughs> i don't want to pay that cost let's do fione and Actually, he does make the most sense to kill for five. Do we have five? We can get there. Let's go ahead and target him down. So for five, five energy, we'll be able to knock him out. And then hopefully off the two prize cards, if we can get uh, Tapu Fine into play, then we're looking pretty good. Um, I can't remember if I retreated or not this turn. I know I talked about that a second ago, but everything is just <laughs> uh, disoriented from like staying at home. Someone, two, three, four, five. So we will knock out this guy. Um, and now that's dependent. If he wants to draw more, he has to get him in hand. Tapu Fine. If I can keep this ratio going. All right, Beast Ring turn. I forgot that's a. Th I forgot about that. I forgot that that's a thing. Beast Ring. It's. I, I experimented a ton with Beast Ring in my list, in this list too. I. It's. I think Beast Ring is probably one of the most powerful cards that got made in the in recent years. Um, it wasn't this Blacephalon list, but Green's Blacephalon back in January did win me my second cup win ever. I had no idea that basically that Pokemon win, that Pokemon win was so so significant for me, safe and stuff wherever they're at. Um, let's see, let's um, we're looking we're looking golden right now. This is this is pretty good. With the switch in my hand, I don't even I don't even feel like I need to really. Eh, why not? Draw some more cards. <sighs> Play switch. Grab Jirachi. One, two, three, four. Um, do I have any more energy in my deck right now? It's quick. This thing is with this deck. You can. Um, yeah. Got, um, no, we should have plenty of energy in deck. Let's discard Mew and Acrobike. Yeah. Sweet, and we can still attach this turn. So let's get Victini. We'll be really charged up now. He'll probably be able to knock out most things. I haven't done the math in my head yet, but um, Switch is always good. I already have one hand. Let's grab Acrobike. No, I mean that. Like, people should be staying safe and stuff. Um, but yeah, that that Pokemon Cup was really significant for me. It was very special winning that one because that was basically the end of my season. And I was happy to come out with a second win. Cool. We got through this round without Tapu Fine. Um, and I'm less... If they can take six prize cards. There we go. My computer was being down. I knew I had fire energy in there. Uh, my computer's freaking out a little bit right now. <laughs> T 
two, three, four, five, stacked view. It's not showing me the energy right now for whatever reason, but one, two, three, four, five. I have five in deck, that's 120. Where's my computer bean? Am I able to see their, their stuff? There we go. No, it's not letting me see it right now, so. Let's see. My computer's being just a little funky right now. I can't quite see how many energy are in my deck. And like the cursor's being stuck up there too, but that looks one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. I need two more fire energy in my deck to to knock him out or hopefully just get another. Um, or, uh, wait, I need to remember, did, did I haven't had baby Blis uh, big, big Blissathlon out yet, so there's a couple ways we can go about this. Uh, let's see. I think I have my win condition now. I think this just gave it to me. So let's go ahead, grab Fire Crystal. I don't even think... Yeah, we got this. Grab these two here. We're going to go ahead, Ultra Space out that heat, uh, heat factory. We don't need to draw anymore. Grab Big Blissethalon. And then we're going to go in with Mind Blown. Attach for turn down here, and that will get us to 200 to knock out... The big guy for two more prize cards give my opponent a little heart uh but this was a really fun video this is the deck i've been proud of i hope to do well in the last qualifier on saturday uh in the last one uh we the time it starts at is uh i think time in the uk or whatever so they're starting at like their time 2 p.m but it's like when uh, i'm on west coast time so i'm up at like 4 or 5 a.m with two of my really really good friends uh so it was a blast the last tournament was a blast to see our our tournament standings uh no just just kind of played together a little bit it was a little bit like a pokemon regional um one more time this is the list in its entirety uh like i said it's pretty standard blacephalon baby blacephalon the only major difference is the four acro bikes. Um, but I really like, I really like it. And I hope to, I think it's really flexible. I think you can play a lot against a lot of things in the meta. And I hope to do a video like this every single day, uh, leading up to the Limus tournament, uh, fellow trainers, I hope you're having a fantastic day whenever you're watching this and I will see you next time.